the 22nd element on the periodic table elements is titanium. This is Norse teaser science with me, Mr. Norse. This is another physical science edition video. Today, we're going to discuss types of reactions. So your goal for this video is that I can classify chemical reactions into their respective types. So for types of reactions, there are four main types of reactions. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, and double replacement. And those are the ones we're really going to focus on classifying our reactions as today. But there are two special types, combustion reaction, which we're going to talk today, and neutralization reaction, which we're going to talk in a different video when we relate the information that is needed for that type of reaction. So a synthesis reaction. Um, in a sense, it's when A plus B yields AB. It's when two or more substances react to form a single substance. So you take two or more things to make it one thing. Two things to one thing. Now, I'm going to relate all of these to a dating analogy. And in this dating analogy, it's like two people becoming a couple. So two individuals starting to date. A decomposition reaction is when you have one substance, AB, and it splits to A plus B. So a compound is broken down into two or more substances. So on one side, on the right, left side of the area, you have one compound. On the other side, you have two or more. And so in the dating analogy, you have a couple dating, and then they break up. Someone did something stupid in the relationship. All right. That's a decomposition reaction, the breakup. All right. A single replacement reaction. You have A plus the compound BC, and they react. And what happens is A and B switch spots. So you have B being single, and A and C are now a couple. They're now a compound. So in a sense, a reaction with one element trace places with another element in a compound. So you have an element and compound on one side of the arrow, and then you have an element and compound on the other side of the arrow. Think of it like cheating. All right? B and C are dating. A is on the outside. C kind of starts liking A, and A and C get together, and B is now gone. All right? The last type of main reaction is called a double replacement reaction. So you have compound A and B, and you have compound D and C, I mean C and D. What happens is your, I need to change this, this is B, this is B, C. Um, a and D start dating while B and C start dating. So when two different compounds exchange positive ions to form two new compounds. What happens is on all, there'll be four compounds total, two on each side of the arrow. And it's kind of like swingers. Uh, you can see in this picture here, you have this couple here and this couple here, but all of a sudden, the couples kind of exchange themselves. So let's look at some, let's look at these examples and try to figure out what they are. All right. The first thing you have to look at is, remember the arrow, it divides things in half. How many, th how many things do you have on the left side? You have two. How many do you have on the right? You have two. It's a two to two, which means it narrows it down to either being a single replacement or a double replacement. Here's one, here's two, one, two. The next thing you have to look at are if there's what everything is. When it's a two to two, you need to label things as being an element by itself or being compounds. Na3PO4, that's a compound. KOH, that's a compound. NaOH, that's a compound. KPO4, that's a compound. When all four things are a compound, we call that a double replacement, which we'll abbreviate with DR. All right, the second one, we have P and O2, and then you have P2O. So on the left side, we have two items. On the right side, we have one item. When you have a two to one, we call this 
a, syn a synthesis because they are combining together. All right, third example. One, two, one, two. Two things becoming two things. That narrows it down to being either a double replacement or a single replacement. When this happens, you need to label things as an element by itself or as a compound. PB is an element. FeSO4 is a compound. PBSO4 is a compound. And then Fe is an element. When on each side you have an element and a compound, this is a single replacement. The last one, we have one thing on the left, two things on the right, or more, where it's two right now. When it's one thing becoming multiple things, this is a decomposition, we'll abbreviate with a D. One of the special reactions is called a combustion reaction. Um, the, the definition is when a hydrocarbon, which is hydrogen and carbon together, react with oxygen. The products are always CO2 and H2O. So what best way to know is that on the left side, you will have to have O2. On the right side, you have to have CO2. You have to have H2O. And the other thing has to be carbon and hydrogen together. And that's what's happening here. It could be CH3 something. As long as it's CH together, you get a hydrocarbon. And so when this happens, you know it's a combustion reaction. But this is a little bit about the different types of reactions out there. I really hope you learned something today. And like always, I'm Mr. Norris, and I'm out for this video.